Scorpio, welcome back to the channel. Monica Love here at The Love Messages. So today we're gonna to be doing your reading for February 14th to the 20th. Now this is gonna be a general reading, so it may resonate with you, it may not. If it does resonate with you, there will be a link in the description box for the extended. So Scorpio, in this reading, I'm gonna be taking a look at past, present, and future for you. I'm gonna clarify the cards and pull some advice. Okay, so your challenge, Scorpio, for this week is the star. And what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck is the Ten of Cups in reverse. Okay? So your biggest challenge here for this coming week has a lot to do with the star. Okay, there's a few things I'm picking up here um, when it comes to your challenge for this week. The first thing is, is about your future. Okay, a lot of you are very uncertain about the future. You don't know what the future is going to bring. I'm also getting with the star here. There's a very strong energy here of needing to heal, needing to um, really take time out to care for yourself. Okay, so if you haven't been doing that, um, there's a very strong message here from spirit that you may find it challenging to do. Uh, but but you need to start focusing on this okay healing yourself focusing on you know getting to this place of balance within yourself that's what's going to help you to um you know plan for the future there's something here about the star okay we're going to clarify and get more information about your challenge in a moment now in the recent past you have the lovers the nine of wands and the eight of swords so i feel like in the recent past for many of you there was a really strong connection that you had with someone um i do feel that even though you had a really strong connection with this person there was a lot of doubt in the relationship okay now for me often the lovers comes with an energy of doubt okay because it's like you magically meet this person or you magically are connected to this person and no matter what you do like it's like you can't get rid of this person or you can't disconnect with them um, because you two were brought together for a specific reason. So I'm really strongly getting here that in the past there was a lot of uncertainty surrounding this connection. I feel like, it, you know, even though you were in a relationship, you still felt disconnected from this person. You felt like you were in, in your mind all the time about this person, like, is this the person I need to be with? I do feel like you've given this person in the recent past multiple chances. Um, could have been an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. We're going to clarify and get more information on this in a moment. Now, in the present moment, you have the Ace of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Four of, or yeah, the Four of um, Swords. Okay. So I'm really strongly getting here in the present moment. You're trying to make sense of something here. You're still confused or you're still uncertain about something and you want truth and clarity when it comes to the situation. The Ace of Swords is often about truth and clarity. It's about cutting through the fog, okay? And if you notice here in this card, you'll see there's like this kind of air-like energy. It's like foggy kind of energy. It's like you wanna cut through something. You want the truth. You wanna connect with why something here is happening in your life. You're really determined to connect with whether or not something here is going to change is it going to change is it going to become better i feel like there's a very big opportunity for you in the present moment um but the only way scorpio okay very important message the only way you're able to take advantage of this opportunity is if you really rest and and heal there's something here about you always wanting to take action you want things to happen but it's like things need to happen strategically and they need to happen in steps, okay? And that's what the Wheel of Fortune is all about. We're gonna get more information on this for you in a moment. Now, in the near future, you have the Ace of Cups, the Page of Cups, and the World. I do feel here in the near future, there is going to be a major closure of some sort of cycle, okay? A cycle that's been going on and on and on for quite some time. I do feel when this cycle closes out for you, there's going to be a brand new opportunity for love, okay? Either a new beginning in love or a new person coming into your life. Take it as it resonates. I do see a confession or an apology coming in and that's what releases you, okay? Because right now in the present moment, you're really confused. Like what's gonna happen? What's happening? What's going on? And in the near future, when the timing is right, something here closes out and it looks like there's some sort of unexpected apology or forgiveness here, okay? So we're gonna find out more in a moment. 
Now, what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, you have the Ten of Cups, the uh, Three of Swords, the Hangman, the Magician, King of Wands, Four of Cups in reverse, okay? So what you don't see coming is the fact that for many of you, um, there's still a lot of unresolved issues, okay? Um, I feel like there's still unresolved pain between you and a specific person, or there could have been some sort of painful situation that happened to you in the past that you either ignored or you avoided. Um, again, that could be the reason why, although you want some sort of situation here to move forward, it's not moving forward at this time. Um, I do feel like you had some sort of falling out with someone in, you know, in regards to a family situation with children um, something here hasn't really turned out as great as you know you hoped it to be and again the reason why this is happening is because you haven't completely done the healing you haven't done the inner work okay um, this is something you've been avoiding for a very long time I feel like certain things in your life happen that cause a lot of pain and you just kind of swept them under the rug like okay whatever I'll just deal with that later but the issue now is especially with the south node in your sign for the next two years astrologically it's telling me that you can't you can't run from these things anymore. You have to face them head on. And that may be your biggest challenge. That's why your challenge here is the star because the star is very much connected to the three of swords. It's like you need to do the work. You need to do the healing work. You need to start, you know, um, sitting with yourself and identifying things that you've avoided. Okay. And this is why there's still a lot of pain. And it's like, it's like, you know what it's like, Scorpio? It's like, you know, when the seams start to burst, you know, I don't know if you know what I mean, but something here is getting so big and it's starting to become so so big of a problem that you can't ignore it anymore. It's like it needs to be identified head on. OK, I do feel that somebody here in the past who was ignoring you or somebody here who was like, again, I'm getting an energy of ignoring like I don't care. I'm just going to ignore it. Whatever it will blow over. No, it's not going to blow over. It's going to remain like this until you identify it. Okay. But the good news here is, is that somebody who's been ignoring, and I feel like this is you, if you've been ignoring something or you haven't been really dealing with it head on, you're going to be in this place of being open to finally deal with it, especially if you're watching this reading. Okay. So your biggest um, challenge is very much connected with, to what you don't see coming. What you don't see coming is somebody here is going to remain withdrawn. Okay. Fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. I'm getting Pisces, maybe cancer. They're going to remain withdrawn. They're going to remain unavailable to you until you start to identify the issues that caused this in the first place instead of ignoring them. Okay. Because you're not looking at something here from a different perspective, multiple perspectives. You're only looking at it from one point of view. And whenever the hangman is in reverse, it's, it's dangerous, right? Because if we're looking at something here only from one perspective, we may miss the reason as to why something here isn't really moving forward. Okay. Moving forward requires, you know, cooperation. It requires identifying issues that we haven't identified. And I feel like that's something that you could be, you know, um, dealing with. Okay. But, um, at the bottom of the deck, you have the queen of cups in reverse here in the temperance you see. So it's like, you're, you're, you're avoiding something here. And, and, and eventually like now is the time temperance. Now is the time to, you know, identify something here that you've been ignoring, that you've been withdrawn from and really take it and, and, you know, take action. Okay. So this is what I'm seeing as what you don't see coming. Something here will open up for you if you're willing to identify that pain that you've been avoiding. Okay. So let's uh, get into your reading Scorpio and let's see what's going on for you. Okay, so let's clarify your challenge. Okay, so your challenge, which is a star, is clarified by the Six of Cups, the Ten of um, pentacles and the eight of cups. Okay. So remember I was saying there's something here you're avoiding, like you don't want to see it for what it is. You don't want to confront it. You don't want to deal with it. Your biggest challenge here has a lot to do with someone that you walked away from someone that you completely disconnected from or a situation in your past that you avoided. Okay. And I feel like 
even though this situation was very painful and it wasn't really giving you what you needed in the past, even though you walked away from it, there was a very big missed opportunity here, okay? Or there will be a missed opportunity if you don't identify what needs to heal within you, okay? I feel very strongly here that some there was an opportunity here in the past, very big opportunity. There could have even been financial benefits here in the recent past for you, but because you may have not been able to handle or deal with the pressure, you may have decided to walk away or disconnect from it, okay? And since you've disconnected from the situation, you've kind of been ignoring it. It's like you've been sweeping it under the rug, you're like, I don't, you know, I don't care. I'm not going to focus on this, but you need to, okay? This is something that you need to identify here. And that's why your challenge has a lot to do with the star, because even though you want to move forward and you want to focus on the future, you need to also look at the past too, okay? And you need to also be identifying things that you experienced in the past so that you don't repeat them again in the future. So this is a very big transition that you're going through right now as your challenge that you need to also start preparing for, okay? So even though you walked away from something here, um, you still have to heal something here that happened in the past, not just walk away from it, ignore it and be like, whatever, it's going to blow over. No, you need to identify it. You need to heal it in order to move forward. Okay. So this is what I'm seeing as your challenge. Now let's talk about the recent past. Let's clarify the lovers in the recent past. Okay, so the lovers is clarified by the Queen of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Hermit. So I feel like in the recent past, there was definitely, again, like I said, a very strong connection that you had with someone. Um, you, deep within yourself, Scorpio, you wanted something here to change. You're like, oh, it's going to get better. I know it's going to change. Um, you know, I know this is just, you know, temporary. There's something here about something here being temporary, but you were in your head about it all the time, like overthinking it, overthinking it and overthinking it. And again, a lot of you were just looking at your emotions. Okay. And this is a common theme this week for the, um, air signs. It's like, it's like your emotions are overtaking you. And this is something that you have to be careful of. So I feel like in the recent past, you were overthinking a connection here, um, wanting it to change. You you know, you constantly felt maybe, um, withdrawn from this person or closed off or, you know, things started to just dry up here in the recent past, but you held on to hope. You're like, Oh, you know, it's like a shining light in the darkness here. The hermit is like, you know, for me, uh, intuitively right now, I'm really getting the hermit is talking about hope here. Even though the straw, the star is about hope. The hermit in this case is talking about hope for me because it's beside the wheel of fortune. And you see, you know, this, this man with this light and, you know, this man is trying to illuminate his or her, you know, situation within darkness. So there's some sort of situation that was really dark within your connection that you still remain very hopeful about, even though you were in this place of constantly giving second chances to this person, um, constantly getting hurt by this person and constantly feeling like you were, um, you know, stuck. There's something here about feeling stuck, but still remaining hopeful in the recent past. Okay. So, um, let's talk about the, uh, present moment. Now in the present moment, it looks like you're still trying to get some sort of truth and clarity about whether or not this situation is going to change. Now, for some of you, I feel like you're on your own. Okay. Um, it's kind of, I I'm getting, and this is again, not going to be for all of you, but some of you are kind of forced to be on your own or you're forced to do this inner work and healing, especially with the South node, um, you know, transiting your sun, your moon or rising for the next 1.5 years. So there's something here that again, that you've been ignoring that you're, you're going to have to identify. Um, let's clarify the four of swords. And then I'm going to clarify the wheel of fortune because there's a very big hidden opportunity here in the present moment that you may not see that you may need to know about. Okay. We're going to find out what this opportunity is that's coming in for you. But first, Let's clarify the uh, Four of Swords. Okay, so the Four of Swords is clarified by the Knight of Wands. You have the Ten of Swords and the Star. 
okay? So I'm really strongly getting in the present moment. Um, your challenge has a lot to do with whatever's happening in the present moment. You're being called right now in the present moment to heal, to really go in and do the inner work. Stop running from it, Scorpio. Stop doing that. Stop it. Stop running away from the pain. There's a reason why you need to go through this. Okay, so I feel in the present moment you're being called to really work on yourself. You cannot run from this situation. Identify why it's happened. What have you learned from it? Okay, and that's why the Wheel of Fortune's here because although you're in pain or you're feeling like, I don't understand why this is happening to me, there's something you need to learn here from the situation. Okay, and that's how you're going to get truth and clarity in terms of why this is happening to you right now. Um, so you need to identify why something here has ended and why you keep running away from it instead of identifying it. Okay. Um, so what is the opportunity here for you in the present moment? Okay, so the Wheel of Fortune is clarified by the Two of Swords. You have the Six of Pentacles and the Moon in reverse. Something here is slowly being revealed to you, but you're still ignoring it. It's like you're not identifying it. You're not ignoring it. One of the things that you have to keep in mind here is, is that in order to be in this place of allowing something to heal, allowing yourself to, to, to find the truth and clarity, is to be open to giving and offering something here in the present moment. So I feel like for many of you, there is an opportunity in the present moment and the truth has now been revealed. There's something here about the truth coming out or being revealed in the present moment. And in order to kind of quell the situation and get it back into balance, because that's what the Six of Pentacles is all about there's something here that you need to give or sacrifice okay and the two of swords here is about you being closed off to that so the more you're closed off to something here and you're just looking for positivity and you know um the the best case scenario you need to confront something here okay especially now that it has come to light there's something here that came to light and you can't run now because the shadows the, the, it's like the light's been turned on, you know, it's like, whoa, okay. And I finally see now what, what's going on, but what you don't realize in the present moment, even though you're looking for all these answers, you're not looking at the answers right in front of you is what I'm saying. The answer is right in front of you, but you keep running from it. Okay. So you need to work with this situation is what I'm getting here in the present moment. Um, so the more you're closed off to it, the more an opportunity is going to be missed. Okay, so this is what I'm seeing here. Now, there is some sort of clarity and truth that is coming in. Tell me more about the Ace of Swords. What is, what is the important message here for Scorpio in the present moment? What is it that they need to know right now? Okay, so the Ace of Swords is clarified by the Emperor. You have the Three of Cups and the Seven of Cups. So I'm really strongly getting, you know, in the present moment, a lot of you have to be prepared to make something in your life right now that's been really confusing. You need to cut through the illusion. You need to get to the root of something, the issue, in order to bring it back into balance, okay? So this is about you not running from something. It's about... Um, you know, making something here that's been very confusing for you to come back into um, a balance here. Okay. And once you do that, I do see a celebration happening for you. But if you continue to run from this and you don't try to get clear on something here that's br brought a lot of confusion, it's just going to get worse. Okay. And that's why your challenge here is a star. Instead of just walking away and disconnecting from something, there's an opportunity within this chaos that's happening in the present moment. Okay. Now in the near future, something here does come to an end. There is going to be a new beginning here for you. Tell me more about, um, the world. What is coming to an end here for Scorpio that they have to be prepared for? So the world is clarified by the justice, the Knight of Cups, and the Five of Pentacles. I feel like in the near future, for many of you, there is going to be somebody here who decides to disconnect from this. And I feel like this is going to be you. Okay. A lot of you are going to be um, closing something out, but you have to remember in the near future. If you try to run away from this or you just try to disconnect with it and not try to set it right or bring things back into balance, then that may be something here that is 
you know, not beneficial to you because you've done this before is what it's telling me. Okay. Or your person's done this before, but I feel like this is a message for you because right now in the present moment, you have an opportunity to set something right if you don't run away from it. But in the near future, again, you're going to have a decision, right? You're going to have a decision. And a lot of you are going to be turning your back to justice, which means it's like, it's like, oh, I'm going to give you this and you're going to leave. But it's like, no, no, no. Something here needs to be set right. It's only going to end correctly if you really look at the situation from both perspectives because the justice is about not only just you but it's about your person as well too so there's a reason why you keep running from something or you keep disconnecting from it or your person keeps disconnecting from it it's because what needs to be identified here is what is fair for both of you and this person is there an ability to find fairness between you and this person now i do feel there is going to be a new opportunity coming in for you and this is something that you need to be prepared for now let's clarify the page of cups what is the important message here for scorpio in the near future so the page of cups is clarified by the four of swords you have the um six of swords and the page of pentacles okay so in the near future i'm really strongly getting you will have an opportunity here to heal this situation okay um remember i was saying and i, I keep repeating it because someone needs to hear it remember how i was saying you keep running from something here you keep running from some sort of issue because you don't want to confront it well in the near future you will have an opportunity to confront it or you will have an opportunity to disconnect from it but it's going to be up to you the only way you can have a very successful new beginning is by dealing with something head on in the near future i do feel an apology is going to come in or some sort of opportunity is going to come in but a lot of you may not see it because you're still again doing the inner work and healing so the faster you do the inner work scorpio the faster you heal the situation the faster you release resentment um hatred pain all those things once you deal with them head on it's like a brand new opportunity comes in for you so that you can be happy but in order to get to this you have to deal with your issues that's what this whole reading is about, okay? And a lot of you may not like this reading, but that's what I'm seeing, okay? Now, let's get some advice for you. What is the advice? Yeah, exactly, okay. So your advice here is the Tower, the Page of Swords, and the Four of Pentacles, okay? So your biggest piece of advice, and hopefully you watch up until the end because this is very important. Your biggest piece of advice here is if you don't deal with something head on, okay? If you continue to ignore it, if you continue to dis distance yourself from it, if you continue to hold on to something here by being stubborn, okay? You're going, it's going to tower. There's going to be a tower moment. There's going to be a tower moment. You need to identify and analyze. Okay, the Page of Swords is about research. It's about analyzing something. It's about looking at something from multiple different perspectives. Um, don't just hold on to this idea. Okay, you have some sort of idea and you're like, no, I'm holding on to this. This is what it is. No, no, no. You need to look at the situation with a very, very stealth mind, okay? This is about being very, very strategic, page of swords. This is about really doing your research, okay? Because something here is gonna break down, it's gonna stop working, it's gonna stop functioning. And it's not functioning because you're still holding on to this ideology that you need to ask yourself, is it worth it? Is it worth me holding on to the situation? Or should I identify why this situation is breaking down in my life and how I can um, deal with it head on there's something here you need to deal with head on and yes it's going to be painful yes it's going to break down yes it's going to create a tower moment but you need to go through this this is the only way you're going to grow and move forward and if you keep ignoring this scorpio it's not going to be good okay so your biggest biggest piece of advice is to analyze and really look at the situation from multiple perspectives okay with the page of swords don't just hold on to one idea and expect it to magically work because that's not the way it works okay the tower is something that's been built over many years it's been built over a long period of time and the more you ignore it the more it's going to crumble okay so dealing with the situation head on by being strategic and log logical not emotional not fixed but dealing with it from a, a mental mental perspective is going to help you to avoid this tower moment okay so this is what i have for you scorpio a little bit of an intense reading i hope you got something out of it thanks so much for tuning in and i'll see you on the next one